Welcome to the Fighting Couch Potatoes podcast. Today I'm joined by Liquid Gold Steve. Isekai troped again. And Gaddafi Crush. They could have just made a normal anime. They could have just not made it at all. They could have just made a normal anime. It would have fit right in with the with the wave of just normal shit. So we are doing another one of our three episode reviews. Um so we are talking about a show that has um, been released recently. It's still ongoing, only halfway through. It is called Summon. Oh God, Summon to Another World for a Second Time, which is what I thought was gonna be a double isekai. The, the basic premise of this show is we have our main character going to school, right? And he's sitting in class. He's an emo kid. He's got some pretty girl who's all over him and all that shit. And he's like sitting there looking outside, just like, wow, I wonder how the other world is and all that. And then, you know, a damn sigil just pops into the middle of the classroom and like a whole class is taken to the other world and he's all excited and shit. And uh, that's about all you see of the other class. Like you see them get attacked by some random ass, big ass armor dudes. And then the main character is just like awesome, but doesn't show it to his other classmates. Which I kind of get, but at the same time, like, that's what the fuck I was here for. The strong will win. The, like, the strong will live. <laughs> that's but, all. like, I come into this thing thinking, oh, we're going to get, like, I was hoping what it was going to be was they were going to go into the other world and he was going to be, like, super strong and try to show them that, oh, you can do it too. And they were going to be bitches and some of them was going to die. But not, not that. Like, we just had some people come save the day. And he, like, it, he helped out the girl that was all over him in the classroom, just, like, flicking a damn huge fucking mace off of him with one finger, showing that he still has his powers because after he left this world, he maintained those powers in the real world and then went back. And then, like, from there, you kind of get a little bit of backstory about how this guy was there five years ago and he stopped a war and, you know come up with a truce between the demons and the humans and now all the kings and the humans are like that guy was an asshole like why the fuck did we ever listen to him and then that's about it no you're missing you're missing uh the creepy guy that wants to marry the demon king because she he can control the seas of both sides well that's war. that's a little bit into it but it's it's really like just a regular isekai again like it's an isekai without the guy having to learn how shit works in that world because he's already been there and that's not the show i wanted i wanted the show where all the other people are trying to figure it out and this guy's like well yeah but i'm still level 99 so pretty much if um if Gaddafi or you or me like started another dark souls campaign like we already know what was gonna happen yeah, we know what's what's up and then like we have this whole group like, here's my thing. Why is it that you made it so the whole class came with them, but then abandoned the class almost immediately? Because they ain't their story. Well, it should have been. That's the whole point. Like, oh, I'm back. just another I'm fucking back again. guy. I'm back again, and everybody knows it's me from last time. And it's like, yeah, but what about the people you fucking came here with? It's their isekai. Well, see, that just would have been summoned to another world with a with a guide that has so, with a guide to, yeah. yeah summon to another world with a guide my, no, no it could have been called my friend has already been here before summon to another world then you got three dots with a guide with a guy yeah <laughs> i mean like that's what that show would have been but summon to another world for the second time that's that's essentially the bullshit we got um <laughs> it's essentially the garbage we, we we got um it was anybody you liked it was paint by numbers it was an anime it succeeded at that I think the most excitable part about this whole adventure of watching the show was the fact that Steve had like pulled me over before watching the show. Like a police officer. Like straight up, just like, hey, yo, I, ha I know you haven't started it yet, but I've watched the first episode and I'm just trying to tell you. I so, watched the whole thing. He's like, I he's like, started. some weird shit happened. And knowing Steve as our local resident, you know, weird shit be normal. It had me thinking, like, yo, what the fuck is going on in this fucking show? But it wasn't that bad. It was just a girl got used as a chair. That's it. I thought it was going to be way worse. That's that's not worse? I mean, 
I, I know what you watch. That's fucked up. I don't watch. I just don't pick the worst shit in the world. No, like, the way you explain some, it is some, listen. It's a good show. Yes, but sometimes. So you throw dice on the ground, and sometimes you pull snake eyes, and sometimes some snake eyes is all right. Like High School of the Dead is a fucking great show. That's not snake <laughs> eyes. Snake <laughs> eyes means you lose. This time we rolled the dice and and rolled snake eyes. This was terrible. We lost. We so lost. is it, is it worse than High Card? We lost. All our fucking money here. Like, we're leaving the craps table like, shit, our wife is going to kill us. That was all money. Like, I sold the car. This was, this was terrible. Uh, and no, it was not worse. Than, yes, yes, it was much worse than that. High cards, reasonably watchable. High cards. Reasonably. I, I, I said this to y'all earlier off, off air, but like, I could see high card in like 10 years. Some, 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 th- not then 20 year old kid being like, oh yeah, high card was the shit. It was interesting. There was powers and cards and people had stands. And, and yeah, and I could see some kid going, that was a good show. And I'd be like, ah, it just wasn't for me. However, summoned to another world for the second time. It's I mean, going to get lost in translation. I mean, let's take it from the top. I think it's the 7,001 fucking isekai. It's not even that for me personally. Like, that's what, what y'all feel. Like, oh, it's just another isekai. No, for me, it is just your your very bubblegummy, standardized anime. Very fucking, mainstream. Very mainstream, very streamlined, very, you know, here's a story, I guess. Here's a show. Here's some characters. Maybe, may, like, the, the, the little purple haired girl that he sat on. I, I promise you, if you go to our local anime store or our local video game store, you will see the sticker of her with 20 different outfits because they're all different girls. It's the same chick that they just repeat. Or she might be the same actress, I guess. I guess she gets a lot of roles. Are you, <laughs> like, saying, like, are you saying that they all look the same? Like that purple Wait haired girl in particular. Minute. Yes. That Wait. purple so, haired girl. Like they reuse. And then like none of the characters That's actually, a palette swap. None of the characters actually stood out to me. It's easy to call out Levy, Leviathan Girl, because... She's she, a kaiju. She's a kaiju. With I, I, okay, I like her her little arc they had of showing in the past how he beat her with one punch, the, the goddess of the sea, Yeah, with one punch. And yeah, that kind of made her look like a weak character. But she said she grew up in, those, in that time of five years. I don't think it was five years for him, but it was five years, five years for them. In that world. Well, when he got there, he said it, it's been five years. I, so I think for him, I don't it think been. it was been five because he's the same age, man. He got reborn. He, maybe the same age. He, he went. Same, he went he back to exactly another the world. Same from when he goes back. Mm-hmm. Um, back. Uh, so they no. explained that he went back to another world. When he left, he went to another world, and he was like reincarnated or some shit. What do you mean? What? Like it was when they explained it. It was when he went back to quote unquote his world. He ended up in another one that wasn't his world. That's why he looks different. He did is that, get, he did is that or is that not how they world. explain that? I don't think that's how they explain it. Because they were like, you look different. And he's like, yeah, when I got sent back, I went back to somewhere that wasn't my world. What I thought he said was when he got sent back, he got sent back like to the world we're going to right now mm-hmm. um, in a different body. He mentioned something about having a different body. And they, they, they showed him as what would look like an adult adventurer. Um, that's how he looked in his little, his little background memory scenes. He just couldn't see his eyes. He like an adult versus him being a child now. Or he grew up there or some shit. They pulled a Narnia. That's what the fuck happened. But then you go back and you're younger? That's how an Narnia works. When? And the fucking movie. When? They grew up that's and then found the movie. exit yeah, and, and then, then were yeah, kids yeah, again. They went home, but when they go back to Narnia as kids, they come back as adults. Is that? I haven't seen the other movies. That's what I'm getting at. Like, when oh. the fuck did that happen? Well, he, like, he keeps his fucking like, power, so like, basically. Yeah, when you go home, you lose all the shit you had, but when you go back. I don't know. I don't know. This, this, like, this like, show's whack. Like, the rules to this show don't make sense. They it The reason for this show. I would have. I thought it was gonna be a spoof or like a um, what's the word? A satirical take on isekais, mm-hmm. and I thought that would have been funny, kind of like Kimi no Michi, Rise Up, kind of a satirical take on isekais, like oh my oh, god, overpowered guy doing overpowered shit. But like, no, this asshole took himself really fucking seriously. 
Like he was hey. really serious about himself in this garbage ass world. Let's so the let's, let's do the let's do the, the checklist of cookie cutter shit. All right, main character who's emo and doesn't like to talk to nobody. Sasuke Check. Uchiha. The the pretty classmate who's all over him and wants to get him out of his shell. Sakura Haruna. Check. The the hard ass fucking um badass woman who's secretly you know in love with the main character. No girl from Naruto. Check. <laughs> the, demon, yes. the demon king. The fucking the um the random ass bro dude knight that has your back in no any situation. Check. Check. The king who is fucking you know, ignorant to everything that's going on in his own place. Double check. Check. I think he's evil. Like, I could go on all day and tomorrow about this fucking show. So and it's like, if the devil put a gun to your head and said, you got to watch this show, would you take the gunshot to the head or watch the show? I'd try to make the devil suck my dick. I, I'd make him sit down and watch it with me and be like, see what you did? I would just <laughs> try to make the devil suck my dick. I'm just going gonna, gonna to kill doing it. But that's what I would rather. You'd rather. I would rather get ripped asunder than, than be shot in the head or watch this raggy show. Do you guys think that because anime is so mainstream now that they kind of like, you know how the bargain bins, how you kind of went for the dollar DVDs, you just like shift your hand through the whole thing, picked one out, said, Wedding Crashers, we'll watch it. I'm going to let y'all answer that before I do. Okay. Because you know I have a much longer window. That's, that, that's, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. But is what I'm saying is like, do you think they take a whole bunch of like, Throwing shit at a wall and seeing what sticks. Yep. Do you think that Matt Matt or like it's very much like when we were trying to research this topic for another three episode review? Because what we do is we go to one of our websites that we find and we scroll through all the new um all the the new anime that's just come out in Japan and like the shit that hasn't even been dubbed yet. That's what we look for, and all of it's just like isekai, isekai. Romance. Isekai. Classroom. Cla- yeah, classroom. Slice of life. Comedy. Is- isekai. You know what? Like I was telling y'all before, and I'm going to put this on the internet so it can be willed into existence. Or if there is a show like this, I would love to know. I want an isekai that starts out in medieval times. And the guy's just walking along and like he's a knight or something. And a fucking carriage just comes through and runs his ass down. And he wakes up in the middle of Tokyo. Comment if there's an actual please show like that. Please tell me if there's something like that. Tell I would watch it, and I'm sure it is trash. But I want to watch something like that. Continuing on, everything nowadays is just been like 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 Crush was saying. It's paint by numbers. You got you got the the fucking you got the main character who doesn't like to have friends. You have the fucking friend who wants to make friends with the main character. Like like I don't want friends. But I have this one person that I'm cool with. That's in every show nowadays. Every fucking show. And it's always... And, like, my favorite is, like, when you watch the school animes. And, like, they go to the fucking assembly. Because, of course, they do. And it's like, black hair, black hair, black hair. Pink! Black hair, black hair. Purple! Black hair, black... Blonde! Oh, we found our fucking characters of the show. Yeah, those are the main characters. That's exactly how... Like... Like, no one else in this fucking auditorium has purple eyes. Like, well, everything about show, like, anime nowadays is, like, you've got the, the big ones that have come out recently, like Jujutsu Kaisen, that everyone's all over for some reason. you got the shows that Netflix is doing and fucking up, which Netflix, if you don't quit fucking up Baki, I'm going to have a problem. They don't care. They, I know they don't care, but they got a new season right. coming out in summer, and I'm... Mm. Anyway, so, I want I want them to go back to make... It, like, it's it's quantity over quality nowadays. Absolutely. And it's like, like you said, let's just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Psh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Psh, fucking, what's a, what's a my new hero. one? My hero. Fuck you. My hero's fire. Um, what's another one? And no, no, no. You know what? Even better. It has been after... Um, after 2020, with when we all went inside for all the, that time, and they was like, I could make an anime. This is what the result is. This is the people, like Webtoon, like fucking God of High School. People went on Webtoons and was like, I'm going to make this whole fucking comic. And cool, go ahead. Okay, so Crunchyroll is going to pick this up and make this into a fucking trash ass anime. Like, I wanted to see the show where motherfuckers were fighting like, like I wanted, I wanted a Tekken anime 
and then we got second anime and it sucked ass. And well, then, you know, we got fucking records Ragnarok. Like, that's another thing. Like, the shows, the shows that do stick out, quote unquote, stick out, have like, okay, so we got, we got the best warriors in all of Earth's history versus the gods that they worship. How do you fuck that up? Oh, you make them explain the fucking moves they're doing for five minutes. And then you got more shit where it's like, okay, so we're going to make an isekai and we're going to make it about a guy who's already been here before and fuck that up too because every woman's in love with him. And he just has to go talk to these people and go, hey, yo, why y'all wanting to fight? I've been gone for five minutes and then y'all already want to fight. Like, no, why, why, why? I want, make a show, here, here's an idea. Make a show that's like berserk. But like, dude has gone back in time beforehand, right? Like, make it make it so that guts goes back to when before Griffith, you know, made that decision that he made. But he's already that demon slayer dude. Is is guts going to be talking to motherfuckers? No, guts is going to be out there killing people who need to be killed. But then you got a show where it's like, oh, I've been here before. Let me just go talk to these people. Fuck off. I'll, I'll add just finer points to what Matt Matt was talking about because yeah, there's that's mostly what I would think about what the mainstream has done to anime. It's what everyone want. Like, there's certain people that will have to scour the internet to find a certain anime they want to watch, like they actually like. Nowadays, it's kind of like how comic books are and. Marvel and DC with the live um, action, they want to they want to pander to everyone else. They don't want to pander to the people that started it. Now it's mainstream. They can make money by just printing anything. And if it flops, it flops. They ain't gonna make that much money off it. The but, shit didn't stick to the wall. But the shit that uh, will stick, oh man, it might be hot fucking garbage. But there's one, there's that giant crowd that wants that hot garbage. Burning and fucking, god damn it! Make a good anime. This shit's high card. Us off. High card was was high card. I I could have watched high. I could have watched all twelve episodes of High Card, but probably not. I watched. I only watched episode four of this anime just to see what his name was. Taryn, like Taryn Snatter. Snatter, Sneeder, Sneeder, Sneeder. Like I didn't know if he was gonna be like good or bad, but he was just trash. And I was like, "That's a lonely fucking grunt." That ain't the real fucking enemy of this show. But Gaddafi, the resident old man of um the show. How do you feel about how mainstream or anime, or what has mainstream done to anime? Let me open up the old book. Welcome to Qaddafi Crushes, just saying. Moments ago, Liquid Gold Steve asked me and Matt Matt how we feel the mainstream has treated anime. I guess throughout our lifetimes, I suppose, is what you're asking, Liquid Gold. For me personally, I've watched anime go from being very creative, very unique, you could you could see a still from a show and know what show it was from. You could you could see just the way the blue was on the show and tell you what show it was or what movie it was. You could see that these artists necessarily weren't making millions and millions of dollars and looking to be the next big manga, but they were making stuff that meant something to them. What you see now is like, there's, I used to be able to develop websites when I was younger. Um, I knew how to do HTML and code and stuff in the background. Like I knew what the, each of those letters and, and hypertext and things meant. I knew why you would put a comma here. I knew how to get like light orange with messing with the numbers to get the right colors. When I got to college, they had this, uh, this tool out called Dreamweaver. And Dreamweaver essentially just did it all for you. Like you would just pick a template and design the template how you want it to. And it would do all the HTML and shit for you behind the scenes. 
So you were essentially just staying ahead of the scenes and moving things around until you made a website. I hated Dreamweaver because a lot of the websites that came out from people who used Dreamweaver had this samey, this samey, like um, like when SpongeBob became normal, when him and Squidward became normal, that 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 roundness, that 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 same normal this is what it's going to be you know what i mean like when mcdonald's took the play place out of out of mcdonald's and turned it into mccafe you know it was like what the fuck just happened here what happened to the uniqueness that i had what happened to the be a bit like okay you know you don't know how to code like i know how to code but your website looks better than mine because you're using dreamweaver type thing or, or just look the lines are cleaner or this that and the third like there just really isn't um for newer anime for the most part from what i can see siphoning us uh, siphoning through what's available to us it's actually um it's more disappointing for me to to, to see like we're either gonna get an isekai um something that's trying really hard to be funny something that's trying really hard to put ass and titties in your face or just something that's trying really hard to copy somebody else's recipe very very rarely will you get something that's wholly unique which is why i wasn't that mad at trigun the stampede even though it was a remake of a show that we love it was still wholly original from what the original show was there was still an effort to, to make something new um why i talk about the iron blood orphans all the time i know it's a mobile suit gundam show but it's different than the other ones each mobile suit gundam show is wildly different than the one before the closest two i can even think of would be 0079 and 0085 83 those are the two closest that i can think of but i mean even then the gundams are wildly different the enemies are different blah 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 there just used to be a lot of uniqueness um, I used to watch shows like the Gunsmith Cats, like uh, Bubblegum Crisis, and those shows sound like trash, but trust, trust me, they're not. Vampire Hunter D, uh, uh, what is it, D DNA Angel, whatever the fuck her name is, the chick with the big eyes, um, Ghost in the Shell, Alita, there we go, Battle Angel. I used to watch uh, Ghost in the Shell, you know, Tenchi Muyo, Ninja Scroll. Edo Fury, Street Fighter, you know, there just used to be uh, uh, Sailor Moon, Card Captor Sakura, f fucking uh, Shaman King, and then not to mention the things that I can't mention on this podcast because they're either too gruesome or probably adult rated, not hentai. Um, that yeah, I gotta make adult rated, not hentai, because some shit gets crazy out there. And. I grew to start watching. I, 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 I took a hiatus from anime when I was like in high school. I took a big hiatus from the shit. I, I stopped watching it, I think, 10th grade and didn't come back to watching anime until I was probably 20. So from like, let's say 14, 15 to 20, you know, a, a five year stretch, I guess, that I just didn't watch it, didn't consume it, didn't give a fuck. I, I was still able to observe how popular it was getting and I thought that was cool. But when I started seeing that, you know, Ramma Ramma and a half, motherfuckers have no idea what that is. And it's like, how do you not know what Ramma is? Watching things come up and kind of being whacked when I finally did get back into anime, the thing that actually brought me back to anime was Claymore. And I was like, holy shit, it still exists. Like, there's still good, good animation, nice looking stuff, good story, and battles. And that ending is probably dope manga. I was just really mad it didn't finish on the show. That kind of sucked pretty bad. Um, and then I, I ran into Basilisk right after that and was like, okay, I can I can be welcomed back. And these things still do exist. I just have to find them. They're harder to find. Um, in a couple weeks, we're going to be doing, uh, well, I, yeah, doesn't matter. This podcast episode will come out later, later, but in a couple weeks, we'll be doing Ranking of Kings. And to me, as it stands right now, is the best anime I've seen in 10 years. The best. Flat out. 
the like, best. As far as a show is concerned, as far as a movie is concerned, Paprika. And then the Wolf Children. These three things, these three medias that I just named, the Wolf Children, Paprika, and um, uh, Ranking of Kings. Looking at them, you could see a panel from any of these and instantly recognize what show it is. You could see just a piece of a character's head and be like, I know this is. I know exactly what movie you're showing. There's enough uniqueness, there's enough differences, and then the stories aren't something that are just like something you've heard and seen a thousand times. That has been Godolphin Crushes. Just saying. Thank you, Kadolfi Crush, for those inspiring words that we totally didn't hear and we're not sitting there for the entire time. Um, <laughs> Reject. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I think we've bitched enough about like anime in general. Um, is there anything from this show in particular that this episode is supposed to be about that y'all want to talk about? Like any, anything any, redeemable? Anything, 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 anything redeemable. Because like Leviathan, the 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 pickings are slim to none. The Demon King, she she seems all right. Yeah, with her big old whopper titties. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not yep, worried. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I'm just fucking talking about her goddamn story. Well, Fuck you guys. He's not immediately worried about that. She's redeemable. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> redeemable I'm, titties. I'm, I'm picking, bro. I mean, that that's more so me picking on the show than it is you, because you know when the show's not interesting. Big titties suddenly start showing up. <laughs> Look at Trigun. What was the biggest set of titties you saw in the whole show? The Marshall. Uh, and that was at like at the beginning of the second. That was like the second episode. Yeah, and well, she wasn't even like stacked. She was, like she was, she was Elizabeth. Right Elizabeth. 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 The one who wanted to kill Vash inside the power plant. Hmm. Elizabeth wasn't stacked, though, was she? Nah, was she? I don't even remember her. Like, I'm trying really hard to see her her face. I don't even remember her. When was this power plant up part? She, like, wanted to get revenge because she he had blown up her fucking town well ahead of time. Oh, in the movie? No, in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she was mega stacked. And so was the chick in the movie, too. But, yeah. You talking about, um, talking about Gasback's, um... Gasback's daughter. daughter. Gasback was a real she, one she, now. She was... But anyway, but yeah, um, this we, show. And I know I picked two girls, but like Leviathan was cool because she was the goddess of sea yeah. and she had fucking cool fish powers. Yeah, she was a, 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 a kaiju monster queen god. Um, but um, something. Yeah, the main character was whack. His powers were whack. And. Like, it got into it and. Did the he fucking, have the, powers? The yeah, training did. was like, and oh, buster, you're either and really good. Sword. The the training was like, oh, you're either really good at this, or you're re- like good at hand to hand, or you're good at magic. Right. And the main character was like, I'm good at both. Yeah, but he said he wasn't really that good at. He said he was all right with magic. You know, from the three episodes I saw, he didn't sh- really show any magic. No, no. Yeah, he just, he just I thought it was, he was mega strong. I thought it was funny that like, um, whatever the fuck her name was, girl, like that came with him over there to the world like his best friend in the real world was like yeah. i figured out this charm you know and does it to him he's like oh thanks that's gonna help a lot that's so cute yeah right. that's uh. exactly that that was the equivalent of a macaroni plate <laughs> I, I so put it on the fridge I put that shit on the fridge i feel like they could have went the hercules route with it the disney hercules route with it at that mm. like where the shit was funny like I would have enjoyed this with a little bit of. Energy. It's only halftime, guys. Like it's it's three episodes in, and it's like they're trying so hard to get you invested in a show that has nothing to be invested in. Like, hey, bro, I got this building. You can buy it from me for like a hundred million dollars. What's in it? Uh, nothing. Pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Like a bunch of them? Nah, like a like like a factory? Nah, like a box. Of pillowcases, they come with twenty pillowcases in the box. Which floor is it? One of them. It's just like it's just, this so show just wasn't. So we're just saying worth it. there's nothing. There's nothing on this show. There really wasn't. Like I, I told y'all before, like the show I hate the fucking most of all 
is this shit called Chrome Shelled Helios? Well, there's a new one in town. There's a brand new there's one in a town. Brand new one. <laughs> Summoned to another world uh, for the second time has taken the because Chrome Shelled Helios kept me fucking ready to watch the shit for twelve episodes, and on the twelfth episode they fully dropped the ball. They completely obliterated because like it was like they they were building up to something, and you're like, what is it? What is it? What is it? And you got to the twelfth episode. I can't wait to see episode number thirteen. Oh, oh, the show's over. Like it's over. What the? F- they're done. Well, we didn't do nothing. That's like gangsta, but like gangsta was awesome. No, nah, gangsta was awesome the whole time. And then you didn't get the twelfth episode. Bring back gangsta. Hashtag bring back Hashtag gangsta. Hashtag bring fucking gangsta back. Gangsta. Gangsta. Anyway. All right. Let's yeah, see. I don't have a lot to redeem over this this particular show. Um, again, I didn't like any of the character designs. His sword was whack looking. Um, Fake ass gut sword. I didn't like the, the 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 the. Okay, there is one redeemable thing: the little town or castle kingdom they were in. That shit was gorgeous. Like I love that view from the top of the castle. Look at that was awesome. Like I was like, damn, I bet you there's all kinds of story happening down there that's never gonna happen in this fucking show. I bet you that's the same backdrop in fifteen thousand other isekais. Possibly. There's there, there's gonna be a copy and paste thing one day. Like I tried real hard to push myself to watch this one show that was on Hulu, and it was like about this black the sacred blacksmith or some shit. Uh huh. Where like he he would make like these perfect katanas, but they would last for like two minutes. So you had to get busy with him, and it, like he, like he, you'd have to give him, the, and he'd make the shits right there on the spot, and like temper it and everything with magic, and just be like, "Here you go." And again, you have like two minutes for it, and it was kind of a cool show, but it just kind of never went anywhere. There were nice character designs, sort of. It was just this is this reminds me of that in a way where it was just not enough substance to really get anything out of. It was the whole time the. Like the show says, it's not his first time being here, and it was like, oh, I'm real enough t- for you to know that I don't really need to do nothing anyway. Right, right. But like, you could have turned that. It was trying to be serious about it a little bit. Very. Like, it like the guy, the guy serious. was like, like a, a fucking a dumbass to begin with, right? It like it wasn't hiding that fact. But like when, when he was like, oh, I'll go alone and all this shit, right? Like, they should have pulled a Vash where it was like, man, I don't want to hurt you because if I do, I will fuck you up. Like, if they had done something like that, like, where he has to hold Did back. he fight anything? Yeah, exactly. Except, like, for, the, the, okay. except for the big uh, the, the big armor knight. Like, he flicked it and and he smacked the girl on the butt. But did he fight anything? He fought the those... He was running away from the royal, those three royal guard people, and then and then Leviathan, and then Leviathan showed, up. showed up. And Leviathan showed like, up, and like then... that's the thing. It's like I get that you've been here before. And Fourth you, episode, and he you... fights people. I'm sure. I be, uh, yeah, sure. I bet. But I mean, like, I mean, he, he sneezes and blows up the world, right? Superman. Hey, the fuck out of here! It's, it's, it's a galaxy. Goku ain't beating no Superman. He's fighting. Anyway, the, he fights I think, the second. I think. Second I think if command. we continue on with this, we're just gonna walk in circles about how this is trash. I don't mind walking because I mean, let's walk. I, let's I walk, feel, let's I, walk another lap. Let's walk Steve one more lap. We've watched four episodes, and we've actually not really been letting Steve really speak his mind this episode because I've been bitching a lot. Liquid gold. Steve. Well, I gotta talk about. Is, uh, was there is, anything? Is, anything? I only, honestly only watched the fourth episode. Just because, like, he, like, the third episode really kind of just, like, hey, the Demon King's in trouble. She's, like, she's about to get married to a fucking shyster. I want to see what the shyster is. I, I just wanted to see what he looked like. I, I I watched the episode, and I was like, wow, you shysty piece of shit. Was there, like, and, 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 and the, scenes hey, or hey. Homeboy wrote like he was running the whole time, like the first five minutes, mm-hmm. like ten minutes before it ended, he busts into the fucking church that they're in, and like it's half humans, half fucking demons, demons, animal people, fucking. He fights fake, like he fights like pretty much angel dust or pixie dust, like it was like magic for people pixie dust when they fucking got beat up and then the second in command and he got slid the fuck up too i was like who's the fucking villain then like as a writer 
of a show or anything. Here's a heads up. It's really difficult to get invested in an ultra overpowered dude. And then like nobody does nothing about it. Again, Kimi no Michi rise up. He's overpowered as shit. But when he's wrestling, you feel the impact of people hitting him and him being like, all right, fuck it. Let, hey, me, let me act up. Let hey, me act up that real ogre, quick. That on ogre fight, hey, that ogre fight, that, that shit right there, boy. I'm to tell you. That shit right there, tell you boy. That, that show good as a bitch. And, and, and That's a fun show. It takes the isekai thing lightly. And, and you could do a serious isekai. I don't mind that. Again, uh, Grimgar of Fate and Magic. That's, that's my shit. That's my shit. And it's done really fucking seriously. They take that shit super serious. But then again, real people can die. Like, but then shit again, can happen. you could flip around and do Bofuri or flip around and do uh, uh, Sword Art Online Gun Gale. Gun I, Gale, specifically. I, the rest of them shit suck. I, I, told, I, told, I told Matt Matt. I, t- I asked Matt Matt, or I told Matt Matt today. You asked he told, you told to him? ask me. <laughs> Bofuri, hey, Matt, can I ask Bo- you a question? <laughs> Bofuri could beat Goku. That's nah. what I told him. Nah. I think you stretched Maple that could, one. Maple could beat um, Goku. I think you stretched that one. Maple could beat Goku. Like, Maple could probably beat Ash Ketchum without his Pokemon. But that's... Yeah, you stretched the shit out of that one. That with with a whole with a whole ass Godzilla... And a fucking and like armor that can never be put, like she has to be higher than ass catch him with with the Pokemon. I don't know, bro. All right, tell you what, she can beat Ash catch him, but she can't beat Red. Pokemon trainer from Smash would beat her ass. That's Red. Now that is Red. <laughs> <laughs> that is Red. That's so, him. That is him. <laughs> so yes. I watched four episodes just to see what the um the shyster looked like. And yeah, he was up some shysty shit. Like the, 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 the story, honestly, is really cliche because all it is is all right. That guy, the shyster that wanted to marry the demon king, is a part of the whole plan of he wants to make a war because he wants to sell weapons to both sides because he's selling to humans and the demons. So he just wants to have the extra power being the new demon king if he marries the bitch and yeah you know what weapon tycoons never do they never sell one side kick-ass offensive weapons and then sell the other side defensive weapons that shut down like just a, just a nullify effect no they never it's both do, offensive they weapons. never they never do that because like i tell you th- then the war never ends <laughs> and nobody gets hurt the money keeps getting spent <laughs> they're right back at you these motherfuckers don't make good business deals now Anything That's else, that. Mr. Matthew? I've said my piece about how trash this shit is. I am sorry for making y'all watch it. Um, here we my go. My eyes. My eyes. No. Like. Ball. Ball. I'd rather take six solar flares. Like. Six solar. Six. Why? Like, why is like it the whole show? Same time. Oh, why is it same the whole, time? Oh, my God. That's like a flashbang from hell. The, the whole show is about him coming back to this world and he does nothing. No, yeah, he does. But he makes you think he's doing something. He makes you like the the show. Lets he's a bodyguard. You know. The show lets you like what is he? What he's is he guard? Guard. What is he guarded? He looked at them and was like, "Yo, y'all need permits to search your bag." That's this, all he's done. This raggedy shit was like when you play an MMO RPG on somebody else's account or somebody's paid for character, and you already level a million, but you can start at level one shit. You know, doing new game plus. Hello, adventurer. You're like, oh, I got it. Flick. This <laughs> is like so fucking bad. Like, I... this this negative this should ten... be this should be new game. This is new game plus. Negative ten out of fucking negative ten. Never watch again. Um, burn I, in hell. Honestly, I'm <laughs> trying to force myself to laugh at parts of this show, and there's just nothing. It's just garbage. I'm actually I'm. I'm more there negative. is there is a redeemable. There I'm, is a redeemable. No, I, I I'm would, negative than I, I usually would love. Am. I'm more I'm sorry, more negative. I'm more negative than I usually am. I'll take the myth of that. <laughs> and it, it it's I there is one redeemable thing about this show, which for some reason it's all anime has this trope. Why is it that anime be drawing food? That look good as a bitch. 
Like you tell me, cartoons you tell me, you tell me, you wouldn't want to try them squid rings that they made. They did make the, the, some good calamari. The, the, the fucking calamari, but and then the sushi I noticed, plate. I noticed wasn't no marinara, and no lemons for that calamari. But it is what it is. I bet it was still that good though. It is what it but, is. Oh man. Anyway, I I think I think we're uh, we're good on this one. So anyway, this has been the Fighting Couch Potatoes podcast. Check us out on Spotify. You're probably listening to us on YouTube. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell icon, apparently. Um, uh, sh- like I said, share with a friend. Leave a comment below. We'll try to read you on the show if you do leave a comment. You know, ask a question, whatever. Um, Remember the Misekai. Write it down. If there is a medieval Isekai, I want to know. Please. Please. Kaniku Man did it first. <laughs> <laughs> you stay classy. And thanks for stopping by.